We previously talked about adding and subtracting imaginary and complex numbers. In this lesson, we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing imaginary and complex numbers. So strap on your imaginary thinking caps and let's get to work. First, a quick refresher. i is the square root of negative 1. When i questions come up, the SAT will typically remind you that i equals the square root of negative 1. This can come in handy on questions that ask you to multiply or divide complex numbers. If you multiply i times i, you're multiplying the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 is equal to negative 1. So i times i equals negative 1. This information comes in handy when you have an i with an exponent. We can express i times i as i squared. So i squared equals negative 1 i to the third equals i squared times i, which equals negative 1 times i, which equals negative i. And i to the fourth is equal to i squared times i squared, which equals negative 1 times negative 1. So i to the fourth equals 1. Knowing these rules about i can be very helpful. So helpful, in fact, that I'm going to give you a chart to help you study. This is the i chart. The exponents of i will continue in this pattern. So i to the 16 will be equal to 1, as will i to any exponent that is a multiple of 4, like i to the 36 and i to the 400. And i to an even exponent that isn't a multiple of 4 will be equal to negative 1. So i to the 10 will equal negative 1, as will i to the 14 and i to the 26. Now that we've discussed how to multiply and use exponents with i, it's time to discuss how to multiply complex numbers. Let's start with a reminder. Complex numbers are numbers in the form a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers, and i is the square root of negative 1. One example of a complex number is 2 plus 3i. Another complex number is 7 plus 4i. If we want to multiply the two complex numbers, we can use the FOIL method. We'll multiply the first part of each of the complex numbers, 2 times 7 and then the outside parts of each of the complex numbers, 2 times 4i, and then the inside parts of each of the complex numbers, 3i times 7, and finally, the last parts of each of the complex numbers, 3i times 4i. Now let's do a little multiplication, which gives us 14 plus 8i plus 21i plus 12i squared. We'll combine like terms to get 14 plus 29i plus 12i squared. We know that i squared is negative 1, so we have 14 plus 29i plus 12 times negative 1, or 14 plus 29i minus 12. We're nearing the finish line. One last bit of subtraction and we get our answer. 2 plus 29i. Multiplying complex numbers is pretty straightforward, but we're not done yet. Now we're going to take a look at division. There's a bit of a trick to dividing complex numbers, but once you have it down, you should be in good shape for this part of the test. We'll learn how to divide complex numbers by walking through an example. 6 plus i divided by 2 plus 3i. The first step is to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. That sounds scary and difficult, but finding the conjugate just means that we go to the denominator and change the sign between the two terms in the complex number. In this case, the conjugate of 2 plus 3i is 2 minus 3i. We can now use the conjugate to multiply. Place the conjugate into both the numerator and denominator of a fraction and multiply straight across. Numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Using the FOIL method, we get 12 minus 18i plus 2i minus 3i squared over 4 minus 6i plus 6i minus 9i squared. That simplifies to 12 minus 16i minus 3i squared over 4 minus 9i squared. We know that i squared equals negative 1, so let's plug that in. And we get 12 minus 16i plus 3 over 4 plus 9. A little more arithmetic, and we get 15 minus 16i over 13. To finish the problem, we just need to make our answer look like a standard complex number. 15 over 13 minus 16 over 13 times i. Great work. You've successfully divided complex numbers. To make sure you've got it, let's do a quick bit of practice on finding the conjugate. The conjugate of 8 plus 3i is 8 minus 3i. The conjugate of 17 minus 6i is 17 plus 6i. And the conjugate of 2 plus i 
is 2 minus i. Ok, you've learned the techniques, but can you apply them to an SAT problem? Let's find out with a pause and solve. Grab some paper and a pencil, and when I say pause, you'll pause this video and solve the problem. When you're done, unpause the video so we can go over it and make sure you know how to solve the problem. Here's the question. For i equal to the square root of negative 1, which of the following complex numbers is equivalent to 4 plus 2i over 6 minus 3i? And these are our answer choices. It's up to you now. Ready, set, pause. So, how was that? Let's work through this problem together and see if we get the same answer. We'll quickly underline the facts and circle the key words, and we see that this is a complex numbers division problem. So let's label the answer choices divide. We're dividing complex numbers. So the first step is to find the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of 6 minus 3i is 6 plus 3i. Now we'll place the conjugate into the numerator and denominator of a fraction, and then FOIL the numerator and denominator. So we get 24 plus 12i plus 12i plus 6i squared over 36 plus 18i minus 18i minus 9i squared. We can simplify that to 24 plus 24i plus 6i squared over 36 minus 9i squared. Next, we know i squared equals negative 1, so let's plug that in. And we get 24 plus 24i minus 6 over 36 minus negative 9. A bit of arithmetic gives us 18 plus 24i over 45. But this doesn't look like any of the answer choices yet. That's because we need to convert it to complex number form. 18 over 45 plus 24 over 45i, which we can reduce down to 2 over 5 plus 8 over 15i. And look at that. Answer choice B. You've successfully completed the lesson on multiplying and dividing complex numbers. Hopefully it now seems a little less complex. Keep practicing and you'll be ready for the most imaginary SAT problems.